Hello everyone, it's Fiona again from Lavender Blue. I'm just here with a quick tutorial today on how you can make um, your safety pins or your paper clips um, and even charms, jewellery. And I'm gonna today I'm gonna do some um, brads, yeah, paper fasteners, some brads and some um, paper clips and how you can make them go rusty to give them that vintage aged look so it's quite a simple process um, you just use what you've got lying around the house or if you haven't you can get them easily in your supermarket so all you need is an empty glass jar and make sure that it is glass because um, if it's plastic, I think the heat could melt the plastic when the reaction happens. So an empty glass jar, just some white vinegar and some peroxide and a couple of teaspoons of salt. So all we're going to do is we're going to put the things that you want to rust up in the jar first. So I'm just doing a few safety pins, uh, sorry, not safety pins, paper clips and a few of these brads. Because I really like the aged or grungy look in my crafting projects. So I thought I'd give this a go and I've done some already which I'll show you okay so you just need to eat um, add enough vinegar <coughs> to kind of cover them and then a little bit more so I roughly I'll probably put about a quarter of a cup of vinegar in the bottom there I'm not sure if you can see Oh, could you see what I was doing? I hope so. So I've put them in the bottom and then I've added oh, about a quarter of a cup of vinegar. And then I'm going to add about half the amount of peroxide to the amount of vinegar that I put in. So however much vinegar you put in there, put about half the amount of peroxide. I don't really measure, I just roughly guess. And you can use gloves if you like for handling the peroxide, but <clears throat> such a small amount, I wasn't too worried about it. And then you're going to add your salt, and the salt is really the catalyst for this, um, this chemical reaction. If you remember your chemistry from school, um, some chemical reactions require a catalyst which makes the reaction work, basically. So, we're going to put the salt in. And we'll just swirl it around a bit just to make sure the salt's dissolving. And you will find that it will start turning a sort of a brownish colour quite quickly. Probably, you know, within the first half an hour or so, it will start turning a brownish colour. <clears throat> so just giving it a good mix around. And then we just put the lid on and leave it preferably overnight. So... That's what it looks like in there now. The, the um, salt will dissolve anyway in the peroxide and vinegar. So I'm just going to put that one aside and I'll show you one that I've already done. So 
so in this one this one's been sitting overnight and see we've got that really gunky sort of brownish color there now and um, it's gone all frothy on the top so these should be ready as I say they've been sitting overnight and what you need to do is I need to just decant off most of that liquid just pour it off without pouring the um, safety pins and paper clips out so I'm just going to go to the sink and pour that off and I'll be back Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just left with a little bit in the bottom. So I'm going to just pour it out onto the paper towel. And let's see if they worked. Hmm. not had enough time. I mean they are a little bit aged but not as much as I would like them to be. So they probably need a lot longer. They are starting to tarnish. I'm not going to pick them up because of the peroxide, but um, I'm not sure where my tweezers are. Um, actually, it should be all right. I'll dry this one off a little bit and just show you um, how far they've gotten. So you can see that this one. I think you can see um, it's starting to tarnish but it's not quite there yet so it says to me leaving it overnight just overnight is probably not quite long enough um, I only did them last night so I think yeah, probably leaving them 24 hours. So, I'm going to put these ones back in. And I'll leave them this time for 24 hours. Along with these ones. And I'll come back and show you the result.